I was saying your proclamation that you desperately wanted back in the National Football League from your camp, that you wanted the opportunity to be employed by the NFL again to play football. Um, okay, I think we've passed kneeling. Believe in something, even if it means sacrificing everything. I said your action Saturday got in the way of it. You can debate the waiver all you want to. For all I don't know whether it's true or not, I have Who says anybody owes Colin Kaepernick a damn thing? It's time we all grow up with this. There's a lot of things that need to change. Uh, one, one specifically is police brutality. There's people being murdered unjustly and not being held accountable. Cops are getting paid leave for killing people. That's not right. I think we've passed kneeling. ESPN's Stephen A. Smith is a provocateur. He does it on ESPN's first take along with his Twitter account. If anyone has been validated throughout these mass protests across America, it is indeed Colin Kaepernick. Stephen A., friend of NFL owners and in the pocket of corporate America, will continue defaming the movement because, well, it's what got him to this point anyway. One random Twitter user wrote, I think the main people that owe Kaepernick an apology is Stephen A. Smith and Ray Lewis, but I'm sure they won't. Now let's make this clear. Stephen A. did not have to reply. This Twitter user has just over a thousand followers, yet he did. You damn right I won't. I always expressed support for his kneeling. What I did not support and never will was his failure to have a plan once he kneeled. I said it in the past, I said it recently, and I'll say it again, I'm not budging. This is a lie. Day four, my million dollar pledge, 10 for 10. I'm so proud and humbled to present the Muhammad Ali Legacy Award to Colin Kaepernick. San Francisco 49ers quarterback and activist Colin Kaepernick has been hosting Know Your Rights team boot camps at cities across the country. Kaepernick made the million dollar pledge. He was going to give away $1 million of his own money. Smith's grudge runs deep. So who's behind the scenes? It wasn't just Jay-Z and a host of other people. It was also me. You see, he loves inserting himself, playing victim when truly, I believe, Colin Kaepernick's camp knew they were going to be railroaded by Stephen A. Smith. Um, okay, I think we've passed Neely and Jay-Z. So it's really great that we have this relationship with Jay-Z. Plus Jerry Jones and the rest of the NFL. Per Smith's execution point, quite a coordinated attack. We need to bring light to the issue. To manipulate the situation in their favor. You see, they hired Jay-Z and tried to pull a fast one on us. The NFL put out a PSA for their Inspire Change initiative. A deal struck between the League and Rock Nation, whose notable key priorities are police and community relations and criminal justice reform. I wonder where they got this idea from. There's a lot of things that need to change. Their PSA was an ad on the story of Botham Jean, and a key point was when his brother Brant hugged the police officer who shot and killed his brother. The message was clear. We're doing something about it. Cap is in. We need a both sides hearing. We need to meet in the middle. While good on paper, Cap's message rings true. Where I took issue was your execution after you took a knee. This performance art of what did he do after kneeling is a coerced movement by Stephen A. Smith, Jay-Z, Roger Goodell, and the NFL to refer to their own work while simultaneously putting down Kaepernick's. It's a crock. Kaepernick not only sacrifices game checks to bring awareness to police brutality, but he also started the Million Dollar Pledge. The previous 900,000 in donations, all from Cap, were earmarked for charities across the country addressing a broad range of issues like oppressed communities, homelessness, at-risk families, education, community police relations, prison reform, inmates' is right, reproductive rights, hunger, and more. Turkish Airlines granted us an airplane to fly to Somalia, a 60-ton cargo plane, so we can fly there with food, with water for these people. Not to mention Somalia. When they experienced a historic famine, Cap used his resources to send a plane full of food, water, and aid. He also started the Know Your Rights campaign. So let me just put this bluntly. What is Stephen A. talking about? What is he talking about? Why does he benefit from this? How does he benefit from this? Connect the dots and you'll see why.